Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to connect QuickBooks to Wix. Let's begin. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here on Wix, just follow the on-screen instructions by clicking on the sign up option. And from here, you can continue with their Google. You can continue with their Facebook. Click the sign up button and you are all set now let's do the same thing with quickbooks sign in using your credentials and then find a plan that's right for you and follow all the on-screen instructions and you're set now there are multiple ways to connect wix to quickbooks because if you allow them to integrate it will eliminate the need for manual data entry, saving time, and reducing the risk of errors in bookkeeping, especially for stores or businesses or shops selling products online through a Wix website. Integrating QuickBooks enables seamless management of e-commerce transactions. So in my case, I have a shop or my Shopify store is run here in Wix website. So basically, the uh, sales data, including orders, payments, and refunds, can be automatically recorded in QuickBooks. It's a very easy process. And it, yeah, it provides accurate financial records. For us to be able to do that, uh, method one is just go here on your Wix website. Go to your main dashboard, right? So once you are here, just select the shop, store, or website that you are going to edit or going to work with. Click on it, and from here, okay so now once we are here basically quickbooks wix integration allows business to track customers transaction payment history more efficiently for us to be able to do that just go here in the app market okay and click on the browse of the app and from here it's, it's very easy all i have to do is search for quickbooks and hit enter now from here this will enable better customer management including targeted marketing efforts and personalized customer service and improve customer retention all you have to do is if you have that option click on the add to site and from there all you're gonna do is just follow the on-screen instructions because after installing an app you need to place it in the editor and save your site and then come back here right the next step is we need to go to our quickbooks account now from your quickbooks account basically what will happen is just go to the left side panel of your dashboard it's the same process just go to the find apps and obviously we need to search for wix i'm sorry that's gonna be wix there you grab it wix connector by intuit now as you can see these are the key benefits it can save time and money by automatically sharing data between quicks and quicks online it can eliminate manual data entry and a lot more if you are interested about the pricing right here it's free because uh, they integrate well with these app the reviews if you wanted to read all of them now the next step here is just click on add or connect all right it's a straightforward process now the third option that we have is go here at zapier because you can create integrations between wix and quickbooks online to automate any workflow and get all these endless possibilities if you connect these apps this will happen a file share and automatically create an estimate just click on the orange button now we will be having a in-depth tutorial about quickbooks to wix integration but in summary you can rename this zap right here and the first thing we need to do is click on the wix right here click on this app and you need to choose an event now say for example it triggers when a new blog post is published or a user comments on a post right and after that click on quickbooks and from here you can also choose an event say for example you can create a new bill like optionally tied to a customer with a line item support click on that and from here all you have to do is just follow the on-screen instructions by 
clicking on the continue you would need to authenticate these apps now you can sit back and relax because zapier will do all the work for you now if you are lost during the whole navigation process the next thing you can do is just go here at the help section the question mark icon click on it and you have uh, two options you can go for a search and click on assistant it's a virtual ai that would help you out with any of your concern and from here say for example type in wix and something will pop out right as you can see there's a lot that you can get from here it's the same with the search option so you can just follow the guidelines here and i believe that's a wrap for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next video.